you always Why you on my Instagram page? All of her time like like All of her time like like Hey everybody, it's Exotic Fusion. I'm gonna be showing you two methods on how to put a wig over locks. Now here is a old twist out. So if you see some flakes, don't judge me, judge your household. All right, so I'm going to be doing a middle part. So I split my locks down the middle. I started to create my parting for my braids. Now, you wanna do smaller braids if your locks are thicker, but I was lazy so I needed four. Um, you wanna make them damp a little bit so they will be able to compress. Now as you can see your braid is not going to be perfect because all of your locks are not going to be the same length if you have shorter locks. It's okay, keep going. You're gonna just compress them later on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh baby, as you can see I did not feel the need to slick back these edges. But uh moving on. <laughs> if you know you can't braid, it's okay. So as you can see, I did four braids. Boom, hit it on there right there. Should have left it like that. I don't know why I crisscrossed up, but if this works for you, go ahead. <laughs> now this third one, don't put it up there, but I did, and it just created more volume in the back. If you have a flat head in the back, you can do that. Me, I got a big head, wrong decision. Still gonna do it anyway. <laughs> now that last braid, bow, yes, right there. That's exactly what you want. Okay, cute little pin-up style. Might have to, you know, revisit this one. Now you're going to take your stocking. Yes, that's a full stocking. Ladies, you know. Okay, you're going to take it. And just like you wrap your hair when you get a fresh flat iron, this is exactly what you're going to do. Except for me, I interchanged the legs. So I took the right, wrapped it, put it down. Took the left, wrapped it, put it down. The key to this is you want to spread the width of the stocking leg so that you get more coverage and you're going to continue wrapping around. Now I just continue to interchange the legs and that was all. Keep wrapping till there isn't any room to wrap anymore. Your goal here is compression. Now, the top of your head should look kind of like a beehive. If you do it wrong, it's gonna look like a pretzel, but that's okay. You're just gonna keep wrapping anyways and you'll fix it when you put your wig on. Don't even worry about it. See, when you're done, you're going to tuck it and bow. You are done. Ooh, okay, okay. You put that wig on. Yes, make sure you get it to the right placing. When you brush your brush and not get stuck in that weave. Mm-hmm, yes, okay. Now as you can see, where the lump I was talking about at the bottom, you can't really see it. So if you have curly hair, it won't matter. But for a straight wig, eh, it might. Ooh, what wig, what locks had to hit you from another angle? Now we're in method number two. So for you that have shorter locks, or you know my length that don't really want to pin your locks up, leave them straight back. Leave your cornrows straight back, don't touch them. You're gonna wrap this like you're doing a regular beehive when you get that fresh press and you're trying to wrap your hair up. Yes, just keep going around in a circular motion. Make sure the width of the stocking leg is open. As you see, you see how I'm spreading it open? Just like that, so you get more compression. And you tuck. This way is way more quicker. Keep going, keep going. Almost done. Boom, you're done. All right, put the wig back on. When you brush, your brush and I get stuck on those braids or your weave. See, straight, flat, no lumps. Yes, you have options. Ooh, excuse me, what are you doing? Okay, hat incognito showing off. If you did this right, there should be no lumps. You should be able to put a hat on, any hat on. It should look good. All right, girl, looking like normal jeans. I gave you the keys and the secrets during cuffing season. Don't go stealing no one's man. Thanks for watching, baby. See you next time.